wonderful dear friends all over the world you are welcome back this is mbtv where we preach the gospel of freedom good morning good afternoon and good evening depending your location we have a breaking news that we'd like to share with you and the news read army brigadier commander in short saying sent unknown have sent no fewer than 150 security operatives um packing and um, he was shocked because um, this number came as he was having a joint uh, media interaction, you know, um, organized by him, by the state commissioner in Imo State. And, um, you know, saying that Chivami said that no responsible um, government would allow such criminals element to continue to have their way in Imo State. And they vowed that they would make sure that they continue the onslaught. And on, on people or hoodlums, according to them, that is currently going on in Imo State. But before we go into the full details, I would like to use the opportunity to thank all my returning subscribers. Thank you very much. If it's your first time of coming across this channel, please kindly do us a favor by subscribing to this channel and God will bless you. Let's go straight to the news. Yes, the Brigadier Commander of 33 Artillery Brigade, Obinze Owere. Nemo State, Raymond Otashi, has um, revealed that hoodlums masquerading as unknown gunmen have killed no fewer than 150 operatives and civilians in the state's um, southeast zone. At a joint media interactive session organized by him and the state commissioner of police, Abati Yaro, in Imo, Inowere, Imo State Capital, the army chief said, no responsible government would allow such criminal element to continue to have their way. Otashi disclosed that the gunmen had um, killed 78 police officers, 38 army officers, 5 naval officers, 7 air force officers, 15 Nigerian security and civil defense officers, 31 community policing members, and over 100 innocent citizens in um, five states of the southeast region since the unrest. He promised that the government was committed to ending the activities of hoodlums in the region. Otashi said, within those few months, there have been 78 police officers, 38 army officers, five naval, seven air force officers, 15 civil defense officers, 31 community policy members, over 100 innocents and civilians who decide not to support IPOP or ref refuse to pay the money were also killed. This is all lies. This is where, you know, you see, that's what we're talking about. You know, the Nigerian government, because they want to make everything or they want to um, do everything to suit them, to be on their favor, they will go out there Start yarning new kunshin on her. Start talking rubbish or publishing rubbish that has got nothing to do with what is happening. You see where they, you know, where I'm saying sometimes these people lies, and that's why the whole world are turning their back on them now because of their lies. Now, you see, um, let's continue what he said. He said, with this number of casualties, no serious government will stand by and watch the life of security personnel and the citizens to be destroyed. So a very report showed that 80% of the security personnel killed are from the eastern part of the country. Okay, this is where the end, you know, story ends. Now, this is where, you know, um, sometimes when the Nigerian government, you know, all of them, the Nigerian government, all of them, you know, make comment or say something sometimes, you will see the lies in there. This is what he said. Over 100, um, over 100 innocent citizens and civilians who decided, listen, who decided not to support IPOP or Eastern, Eastern Security Network or refused to pay the money were also killed. What is he talking about? Who, which, what, what, I don't understand what he meant by this. IPOP, Eastern Security Network, refused or refused to pay the money. That means he was saying that, you know, Eastern Security Network are asking money from people, 
public. If if the public or civilians refuse to pay the money or to give the money that they kill them, where is it, this thing coming from? <laughs> where is this kind of thing coming from, man? Well, anyway, we all know the kind of people, the, um, the army, everybody, the government over there are, the kind of deceit and lies that are full in their mouth. Well, um, what um, they were saying here is... Um, you know, kind of like a shock thing. Yeah, it don't has to. It don't has to be a shock thing. They know that that the um, unknown people have killed um, um, over 150 security um, operatives in southeast since the unrest started. And um, he started, you know, numbering or um, counting, mentioning the forces that have got the casualty. Or they, they they killed their own um, you know officers, which he has mentioned here. So you know they are they are in shock. Um, they don't have to be in shock. One, and what they are doing, they know that they are doing um, um, things that is not um, welcome in Imo State, and uh, a lot of atrocities. This um, Janjaweed and um, police and the army, Nigerian forces have been committing in Imo State, and that's why. Keep saying that's why unknown took this um will I say initiative <laughs> you know to go there to start um unleashing mayhem on the Nigerian forces and uh, telling them you know giving a warning to them that uh, more things will be coming and uh, as we are speaking yes we know what is happening I um, mean you know they um, that's one thing I want to say this issue is this um because there was a, 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 a picture, a video that was going around the social media about um, army killing, um, you know, unknown government. Um, the thing is that um, in a war, you're bound to have um, casualties, both sides. You know, you're not going to have winning, winning, winning every time. That's one thing we have to understand. But we, mu we must move on. Um, even our leader said it. They will come and kill us, and they will kill them. At the end, Biafra will come. So, um, but sometimes, one thing about this Nigerian army and police forces in general, sometimes they, they exaggerate things too much. They put things, they put lies all there that will, uh, you know, be on their favor and look good for them, but all lies. So they make that kind of thing, propaganda, um, you know, news or video those kind of things starting you know, or putting things that um will um you know to degrade um to undermine us but we are not backing down like we said like the unknown said they are not backing down what they are doing today is um protecting the lives and the properties of um Biafran citizen and that's why they're taking you know that justice towards um Nigerian forces and um, you know, I'm teaching them a lesson in so many ways. And this um, you know thing they're saying that if um, civilians in Biafra, if they don't pay ESN on IPOP, they will get killed. I don't know where these lies come from. These people don't kill innocent people. They don't go after innocent people. Unknown don't go after innocent people. ESN don't go after um, civilians. IPOP member the same things. I don't know where they're getting all this information, the um, Nigerian forces, where they got this information, you know, lies that we, you know, I don't know where they get got this information, but we all know what these people are, you know, stand for. We all know what they are doing and they never go against, you know, their, their, their you know, what they believe in, like I, I, I'm giving justice on police buildings. And uh, a police um, operatives, army, DSS, name it. Once your Nigerian force, um, you know they will go out there, attack you, and do what they decided or what they want to do. But they don't go on civilians. They never attack civilians. If any civilians you heard that they've attacked, it's not from unknown or it's not from ESM or, or neither IPOP member. It might be other, you know, criminal elements other people that are just doing their own thing. But the main um, unknown people that are doing this justice, since they've started, 
you you never heard they have killed any innocent or civilian people or to go after the public. You, will, you you've seen a video where the um pub, the public masses are even supporting them. So how can they go and start killing the people that are supporting them? So it's never done. This is lies that are cooked up from Nigerian forces to make them look um, good. This was that's what we're uh, we're talking about about propaganda. You know, putting lies there. Uh, you know, like normally sometimes they will arrest innocent citizen. They will pro they will put them up there. Say they are ESM members. They will arrest people in their home houses. They will put up them there. Say they are IPOP members, and they will force them to you know to come up with lies to say something that will um, tarnish the image of ESN and IPOP members. And people, we all know that this is lie. It's not true. They are doing that in order to, you know, put themselves as the best out there. But when where people knows that, you know, the kind of, um, you know, um, forces we have over there in that country, so everyone knows. So it's not a surprising thing. Sometimes they come up with lies. They come up with so many things in order to you know um, 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 lie to the public so that the public will believe in what they are doing anyway this is where i'm gonna stop please don't forget to like share subscribe and leave your comment let us know what you think thank you and have a blessed wonderful day bye